Hey guys, Portia here, and today we will be sublimating on 100% cotton using DTF products. Now, if you take a look at this shirt here, this was my first time using the heck, and I love the way this shirt came out. The colors are vibrant, and we got stretchability and all that good stuff, and it did survive a wash, but I have gotten an opportunity to try it out with glitter DTF transfer sheets. Now, this video is sponsored by Yalmation, and they sent me their DTF powder as well as their as I just mentioned DTF transfer sheets but this time we are using glitter y'all check it out I love me some bling if you've watched any of my other videos you know that I have to stop myself sometimes from making everything sparkle but this time we are going to purposely make everything sparkle I'm going to be making a t-shirt 100% cotton using sublimation ink and DTF products. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. All right, first things first, let's take a look at our glitter transfer film. And if you notice immediately, it says this side of the transfer film is the printing side. So yes, guys, there is a right and wrong side to print on here. And we wanna make sure that we stay on the right side. So. We have ourselves a glossy side here, and then we have a matte side. So the matte side is going to be where we actually print on. So I'm printing on a converted Epson Echo Tank, and I'm going to put the paper in facing me in order to be able to print on the matte side. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and print out my image, and then when we come back, um, we'll go ahead and prepare to press it on the shirt. Here's the image, guys. Now you may notice I have a piece of painter's tape here on the back. The reason why I do that is because this film is super light and my Epson Echo Tank, remember we're doing this as a hack, does not recognize that I have a piece of paper in there when I use DTF film. So me putting a strip of painter's tape down the back gives it a little bit more weight and the printer knows that it's actually printing on something. Now, um, you don't wanna touch this because the ink is floating on top of the film and if we touch it, we are going to smudge it. So we wanna avoid doing that. The next step in our process is applying our DTF powder. So everything that I'm using in the video today, the Yalmation um, glitter film as well as the powder and then they also have the regular um, DTF film will be in a link in the description along with some discounts for you guys but what we're going to do is just go ahead and easily well evenly my bad coat our image and I have down some um, parchment paper to collect the excess powder, and I'll probably put too much on, but the point is to, to ensure that we get all of the ink thoroughly coated by the powder. And then we're gonna remove this, and we can save the extra, which is why, like I just mentioned, I put it on the, the parchment paper. All right, so I don't believe I missed any spots. Um, just double check in there. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and move on over to the heat press. Right, so here's the nicely coated image. The next step in this process is we have to cure our powder. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use my heat press machine. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna lay the press, I'm sorry, I'm gonna lay the image flat on my press and I am going to allow um, the press to hover over the image. Now I have set my heat press machine to 320 degrees. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna lower this and I've already like messed with the settings to ensure that it doesn't go all the way down on our image. I wanna make sure it's close enough. And I'm gonna allow this to go for about three minutes. I found that if I allow this to bake, aka cure, for about three minutes, let me turn that on, that we are going to get all of our um, powder nice and melted. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and take care of that. 
All right, y'all. Let's see what we're working with. All right. So here we have it. So we know that we are done curing because be, when we first set this down, it was you could clearly see that there was a powdery white look to it. Now the color has like come through nice and vibrant. So we are now ready to go ahead and press on our shirt. And I think this is going to look gorgeous, guys. So let's go ahead and set up for that. Okay, so we are going to press on a 100% white cotton t-shirt. Of course, that is the point of this whole video, sublimating with glitter on 100% cotton. And I don't know if I'm going to give this shirt away or not, but I will go ahead and use my ruler to ensure that I put the image in the right place. Oftentimes, I'd be like, eh, I'm going to just eyeball it. But I'm going to do that today just in case I choose to give t-shirt away and once again be sure not to touch it because if you do you're going to ruin your image and of course we don't want to do that so this is about center and so what we are going to do is place a piece of parchment paper down. And because this is sublimation, we are gonna press at about 180 degrees, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. I did readjust the pressure on my press so that it's gonna give us about firm, it's gonna give us firm pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and let that go. All right, this is a cool peel. So I'm gonna let this cool off fully before we start messing with it. And it does look pretty good. The colors are really vibrant. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool All off, right, y'all. guys, we are completely cooled and I did go ahead and take the, a peek. We are ready to peel. And so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and fully peel the paper off. And we are going to do one more press. So this second press that we're going to do is going to really allow the product to adhere to the fabric. And we're going to still press at one, um, not 180. We're going to still press at 380. But this is just going to be for 15 seconds. All right, y'all, check it out. We are all done, and I am loving the look. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the image is not floating on top of the fabric like you would find with, say, dark transfer paper. It is actually a part of the fabric. So if we stretch it, I'm trying to do this with one hand, y'all. So if we stretch it, it's going to stretch and return to normal. Now, one thing is, I don't believe you guys can see the bling as well as I can here in person. So let me go ahead and turn off the light so that you guys can see the sparkle. This bling pink is like giving me life, y'all. I'm loving it. And it's much easier to sublimate on this with this uh, hack on glitter as opposed to like on the HTV. This is all I have for you today. I just wanted to share with you all my experience with using the Yaomation DTF products to sublimate on 100% cotton and add a little bit extra bling to it. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful or just plain old entertaining, could you go ahead and give it a thumbs up? But guys, as always, until next time, peace.